You're listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. Now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after-show entertainment. Very good, Buzz Studios in Los Angeles, California, presented by Maria Menunos and Bing.com, and streaming live thanks to Akamai Technologies. This is After Buzz TV's Twisted After Show. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest news and gossip. And now, another post-game wrap-up show for your favorite TV show. It's After Buzz TV's Twisted After like Show. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Bing is for doing, and we're here doing another after show for ABC Family's Twisted. It's the season finale, Out with the End Crowd. We gotta give it up for Glee singing like a virgin, because as we all know, Joe is not a virgin anymore. I am. No, not, please. Well, I'm Jason Eichler, and joining me tonight are my lovely virgin co hosts. I'm Heather Joy Smith. I'm Lena Green. And I'm Stephen Lemieux. Sex can wait. <laughs> so, guys, let's talk about this. It's not a love triangle anymore. We were just saying it's like a love a fiesta. What's it called when five party. people are involved? You would not. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Ouch. Already with the zingers. So, let's try to break this down. Lacey and Danny had their whole little sex tape, makeout tape get leaked. So, Joe found it. Joe's pissed. Rico is pissed because he didn't want Joe to find it. So mm-hmm. Rico loves Joe. Joe loves Lacey. Danny. Lacey loves Danny. Danny loves Lacey. Tyler, Tyler loves, loves Joe. Joe, Joe Ser- loses it to Tyler. Sarita sure hates everyone. Uh-huh. Sarita hates everyone. So, Sums Colt, up. now Colt. that we've got that out there, <laughs> um, <laughs> the show started out and Lacey's at school, and it was very much like on a walk to remember moment where <laughs> she walks in and everybody's looking at her. and you know, in a walk to remember so when typical. they're handing out the nope. flyers with Mandy Moore on them. Anybody? No. You know what I'm talking about. I know about. what you're talking about. <laughs> nope. That was quite a while ago. <laughs> that was a good movie. Still a favorite. <laughs> For so you. anyways, um, everybody's still pissed at Lacey about this whole thing. And even her friends at school won't talk to her, which is ironic because it was last week or the week before where they're like, we'll be your friend no matter what. That yeah, was and they kind of like a foreshadowing. Yeah. And they bring that up in this episode, too. And Lacey has this weird flashback of... Phoebe, when they thought Phoebe cut Regina's arm. So she was on the outside. So she was on the outside, and they're kind of doing the same thing to her. And so you feel bad for Phoebe, and you're like, yeah, I wouldn't talk to Lacey either after all that. Yeah. Owned. Owned. And then she gets to her locker, and there's actually legible to graffiti. And I got to yeah, say, like, there's the no graffiti in my high school that you could actually read. And it's Where did you go to high crazy school? Stuff. Some stupid yes, kids. So <laughs> Social <laughs> slut and nympho. Like, some some of those words are like, dude, should high schoolers be even saying that kind of stuff? No. It's, I talk like that in yeah. high school. Okay, you know what? You oh, you did a lot of things. Okay, let's stop. Yeah. <laughs> um, so then, just fast forwarding a little bit. Lacey, because I want to get to this. Lacey and Danny find out that Joe was stayed at home from school because she was feeling sick. Mm. And, Archie and Archie's at Joe's house at this point. And he still hasn't told her that he's seen the video. So Lacey and Danny decide that they're going to go to Joe's house and sort Wait, of what, uh, who? Archie? Archie's? Archie, what did I say? Rico. Rico, you Rico, Rico God. God. What's, what's, like, what's Archie doing There's at Joe's? so Jones? many names and so many love When triangles. did we leave the room for this scene? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. When did this Lacey. happen? So this happened when you guys were talking. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, while I was trying to watch. <laughs> Anyways, so all four of them, Rico, Joe, Lacey, Danny, and Joe's mom are all at Joe's house. Yeah, okay. And it's this huge, all these secrets are being revealed, and they're trying to apologize. And I was actually happy with Joe because she finally stood up for herself. Yeah. And I feel like she hasn't done that to Lacey and Danny. So it was good to see her like that. But then I was mad when she got pissed at Rico because Lacey let out that Rico and her tried to stop the video. Or- um, I could see why yeah. she'd be mad at first, you know? I mean, that's, Initially. Yeah. I mean, he hid that from her. And she's been asking everyone to be honest. She told Lacey, hey, be honest with me. If there's anything you need to tell me, tell me. She told Rico that. And everybody- but Rico's never done anything in the past. And I think she should say, hey, Rico, why didn't you tell me? Yeah, yeah. but she was angry. Like, her emotions were high. Like, she's told a guy she loved him. He doesn't love her. 
I mean, I don't know. I I don't feel I feel bad for Joe, but then I don't because the same thing that Danny's doing to her, where he had no clue she was in love with him, she was just as shocked when Rico let it out. Mm -hmm. Do you think she realized that? Like, was that the wheels turning when she was like, "Oh, so I'm doing this to Rico, and I need to"? If she didn't, then she has absolutely no right to get mad at Danny, because it's the exact same situation. I don't think she even realizes what she's been doing to Rico. I think she's just. He's so far in the friend zone that the end of the episode was just such a shock to her. I mm-hmm. agree. But she's, it's like the little, literally exact same situation. So I just, I, I'm on Team Rico. <laughs> Poor Rico. I'm actually, I ship Danny and Rico. <laughs> God, we know from <laughs> episode one. Season two. That's what's so going to come out. Literally come about out. No. I'm confused about what's going on with Danny through this whole thing with the facial hair, the no hair. You would think they would have edited better. <laughs> okay, or so this was all it's, supposed to be on one day, all this happening. And half the scenes he has facial hair, the other half he doesn't. So it's like midway through the day, he just decided that he wasn't going to have facial hair you guys anymore. You sound like the critics. At Tyler's party. I think he just... just let it go. (laughs) (laughs) It was the bad editing. (laughs) Heather, I think they're really just trying to convey that he has a dark side and a not so dark side. You know, I actually thought about that during the thing is because when he was with Joe, or, yeah, with Joe, and Mm -hmm. she was in the park with him, he had no facial hair, and he was coming off his more softer side. But... When he was trying to be like bad and everything, he had the facial hair. Dude, he grows it at will. <laughs> I guess so. Up. It's just weird. I mean, so maybe they're just playing something with our minds with that whole editing. They of that, need to but stop. Yeah. I think we are analyzing this a little I think, too much. I think so, too. I think it has <laughs> nothing to do with it. I think he it, looks but good with or without the facial hair. I think somebody like in the crew just forgot to. Yeah. I think so. I'm sure that's exactly what happened, yeah. but it's just like <laughs> ironic because we, we, yeah. we were completely talking about this at the beginning of the show. So, oh, yeah, just it awesome. anyway. Poor guy. So. <laughs> I'm trying to. You're like the detail person of that didn't bother so you. Much that's happened. Yeah. So Lacey tries to apologize um, to Joe, and obviously that doesn't work. And so. Well, Lacey and Danny both try yeah. to apologize after barging into her home. Like she clearly stayed home, not wanting to talk to anybody. I think they should have gave her like at least a day, maybe a week. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. To get over it, and then. <laughs> talk so to Joe's her. parents have this cutesy little moment where they're like, you know, what? we're going to take you out for a family night on the town. Which was, it's kind of nice to see that family back together because they've had their issues with the whole Danny thing in the past and the family's kind of been like split and it's Joe and... Wait, are we finishing Lacey and Danny before we go into Joe and them? We're going to continue. Oh, okay, cool. Just make it just I think if we just go in order, it'll be easiest, right? Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Um, So so when Joe's out with her parents, Tyler shows up at the movie mm-hmm. and introduces himself like a gentleman. And I kind of feel like Tyler's a little two-faced. I feel like he's Because I don't trust him. He looks like a wolf in sheep's clothing uh, every time he, like, I don't get makes that a face. Him. No, I don't get that from him, but it's weird how he's... I get that from look, him. Always okay. there at the needed time. <laughs> yeah. He's just was, like Mr. Just Captain Saber. I grew up around <laughs> the people who were, like, very in the church, but, they, but you knew that outside of it they weren't. So, like, the, at, at face value, they'd be like, yeah, it's definitely the, re- the right kind of people... But then you know that immediately when they're not around other people, they turn into someone else. That's what he reminds me of. But you, I get sincerity from him when they're together just talking. There's so much sincereness coming from him that, yes, he's done some foul things, but he's sincere when, with his feelings towards I don't think Joe. he's sincere. I think he really he does like her. about her. that whole movie. He, uh, Danny, who she was in love with, he just completely he's threw under the bus. That's what the, the whole movie yeah. stuff. So I think I, he, that's like... You could justify somebody being obsessed with movies, he's, doing horrible, horrible things, if that's what you're going to He's going to start ignoring her next season. No, he's not. He's going to yeah. start ignoring her next her season. Heart. The way he caressed yeah. her after they did it. Yeah, it until was, he knew that she was a virgin. He liked yeah. it. It was sweet. She's a no, virgin. No, he, he was caught off guard, and then he played it off. <laughs> what kind of guy? <laughs> like, Steven is like that. No, 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 no. I'm on Team Steven for this. Really? Yeah. I, he's... He took advantage of her. No. Look, she came over to his house. She, she kind of yeah. took advantage okay. of him. She, she, she totally angry. jumped on him. There's a difference between making out and having sex, though. She initiated it. What, what is he on? No. She totally, no she joke. showed up at his house, okay. opened the door, and started making out with Guys, him. Guys, I got to say, the only way to get over someone is to throw yourself <laughs> all the way into someone new. <laughs> he was totally. That was such a lie. <laughs> that was such a lie. That was a lie. He was taking. He was taking advantage of Joe's situation. He likes her, yes. Yes. I admit yeah. that he likes Thank her. Thank you. But I also admit that he 
probably doesn't like her more than just wants to get with her. And, and that's I also what don't I think feel he's like. Trustworthy, it was. even if he does like her. I yeah. think we're gonna see Tyler as a trustworthy person. He's probably gonna end up being like the person who helps Danny out of this situation or something like get something on tape That'd or be something because they wouldn't make him such a vital character like making him part of Joe's life he's going to be part of Joe's life now I think they're going to end up dating I this is actually do. a prequel to American Life this <laughs> <laughs> she's going to get knocked up yeah. <laughs> that would be so horrible but no really he, funny. He, too much. he is he is totally going to he might still be with her slightly maybe I don't know. but he's going to be taking a step back after that whole Hey, it was my first time. Yeah. So fast forward a little bit. Before they had sex, she met Danny at the cemetery and was like, hey, are you in love with Lacey? And she's what? like, don't lie to me again. What was she expecting when she did that? That's what I'm sitting here thinking I think, about. though, if what? you're in a situation like that, you just want to know. She just wanted the truth from someone. Yeah. Uh-huh. And she's been she feels like she's been lied to by so many people. But did she think he was gonna change her mind and say, I have feelings for I, I think like she when was you're like that something. much in your head in love with somebody, you want them to, even if you don't think they're going to. She's like like just tell me now's your chance for this like big like romantic comedy moment. Yeah. You know what I mean? The bridge in the background. Yeah. Oh. I mean I'm proud and of like, her though. You know what I thought about it, I loved you this whole time. That's yeah. what she's thinking in her head. And it's not the case, obviously. Yeah, I'm proud of her, So though. then, out of desperation, <laughs> she goes to Tyler. That escalated fairly quickly. I know. Yeah. That <laughs> we, 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 we see her kiss him. We go to commercial break. And she leaves. And then you come back, and they're in bed naked. Oh, well, we have to look family. at like, her character from the first episode yeah. till now. She didn't even drink in the first episode. Mm-hmm. Yeah. She was a goody two-shoes. And now she's just out boning this guy. Yeah, there's some she's real changed. character development through yeah. like just this first season. She just saw the VMAs, guys. <laughs> <laughs> she wants to be like Miley Cyrus. Don't we all? <laughs> <laughs> yes, Jason. Yes, yes, we do. So that's... Well, let's get into... Um, Joe and Rico then, actually. So then, after Joe and Tyler hook up, she goes back to her house, and Rico's there, and um, Tess lets Rico in, and he's like, I just need to apologize to Joe. He forgot his backpack. I gotta say, this this was so awkward. Have you ever been in that position where you show up and your friend's not there, and the parent's like, you can stay a while. Yeah. You think they know that he likes her? Join us for I a think bit. so. I think when Tess definitely does. Game, you love parents, and parents love you, Steven. I thought you would know that. <laughs> Can't do just this. Not. <laughs> I can't do this. <laughs> but but I love I love the comedy that's just such a part of Rico's character from the beginning to this episode when he's when Kyle's like she just, she just has terrible be- taste in women and Rico's like yeah I know <laughs> I know <laughs> hey, like, man. can I say that out loud <laughs> he's like hey, man, awesome. his writing his writing for his character has been fairly consistent this yeah. entire yeah. season yeah. he's my favorite character on I the show I think he's gonna come out with some balls next come next out? season. No, no. I like that. Not, a lot no. of support. I'm, Jason's theory of him I and Danny. <laughs> no, I, I mean, somebody had my back. No, I think he's going to show more, like, be more gutsy next season because I feel like they're going to make his character kind of more out there. I feel like Joe's like not going to like him until he likes somebody else. Well, yeah. Then she's going to realize oh, what Serena. she lost. No, I think oh my Phoebe. God. Him and Phoebe oh, would be oh, Phoebe would be so, so, so cute. They would be adorbs <gasps> together. Oh, we need to Adore. ship them. Matchmaker. <laughs> Phoebe, Phoebe's a step up from Joe. Oh, no. Oh. No, I think Joe is Bad taste. People are going to... Bad taste. So, Come all on. I'm saying... Anyways, all I'm Rico saying. Rico apologizes to Joe, and she's like, just promise me you won't ever keep anything from me again. And so he's like, don't worry, I won't. I'm in love with you. And then... He was like he, working himself up to do it. He kisses that I, same mouth ew. that just had sex <laughs> with Tyler. I know, and nasty. you guys... She didn't brush your teeth. That was nasty. <laughs> You guys said I was gross for thinking that. And no, then you guys said, bring you said, that point up. You even said something you were a little dirtier about, while we were yeah. Okay, but it's the you same concept. It, wasn't it the is the same concept, concept, and it is gross. And I feel horrible, horrible, horrible for Rico. Because Joe just looks so shocked. I love how he just shatters her world, though. Yeah. Like, because she's friend-zoned him so hardcore so this hard. whole season. And then she says... You are the only constant in my life. Only, it just needs to stay I think the same. It was that word. I love you, yeah. Joe, and kisses. Her. She says amazing That's, constant. That was so yes. patronizing. I want. It was like a slap in the face. But if you're Rico, you're like, oh my god, she finally loves me. No, and you don't. Yes, that. no. Yes, I think yes, it was yes, that exact wording. If, if Danny constant. said that to her. 
Oh, she would be, be thinking all over the same it. thing. Feel, An amazing concert. I'm thinking you just slapped me in my face. Yeah, really? I, fe- I feel like <laughs> she got some issues. He's he's in his grave and she's like putting the friend zone dirt over yeah. him. <laughs> and right before she pats it down with the constant thing, he's like, wait. I'm gonna kiss you now, just so you can yeah. like climb awesome. out of this. And you know what? Good it for was. him, because that was pretty ballsy. She pulled back. It right? was gross. The way he kissed her, the way he went, it was like I maybe it was so his first cute. kiss. Because he's was. not a player like Tyler, who gets yeah. her in bed he's after an hour. He's Tyler, a nice, player. Come he's on. He's a nice, good guy. <laughs> like he's a good guy. He waits for her parents to get home. Yeah. No? The only way to get over someone is to throw yourself. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. Can you? Y'all are gonna see. Tyler's gonna be the hero. So stop. Tyler's not a hero. No, he's not. So then, I don't know. We don't really know what's going to happen with the two of them. With Rico and Joe? Yeah. We'll Eh. stay friends. I feel like you can't bounce back from that. Yeah. Yeah, Rico will. Yeah. I don't think her and Danny, I'm interested to see how they bounce back from that because she's so upset at this point. But Rico's so loving, and I think he could forgive that. I I I don't think he should forgive that. I think I agree with you in that we said it earlier, like maybe it's going to take him going for someone else. For her to go after him because yep. the jealousy thing because i it's here's my prediction for that it's not going to work out with tyler because he's going to be freaked out from the virgin thing he's going to start <laughs> that is it, not- just just just, just she's sh- she's going to be sad because tyler started to ignore her then she's going to be like oh well i can't hang out with rico but what would things be like with rico and then rico's going to get the attraction of some other maybe new character maybe phoebe maybe sarita I, uh. just calling it out and that's when She's going to go after Rico. Rico's going to dump his girlfriend for her, and then she's going to get back with someone else. Because I can see that happening. Because that's how well, it's I, written. And it's not going to work out with Tyler, because <laughs> if you give it up that soon, there's nothing else to look where, forward where to. Where did y'all, what kind of boys' school of, of training did y'all go to? Guys, Some guys like nice guys, like virgins. Not virgins that give it up. on the, That's not a virgin thing to do, give look, it up look, on look, the first Lena, time you it's, hook it's, up. That's it's a not, slutty thing to do. It's not that she was a virgin. <laughs> It's that she had sex with him being very promiscuous that would lead him to believe that she wasn't a virgin. Exactly. It's it, the way she handled it. It's so he's going into it thinking, okay, I'm hooking up with this girl. We like each other. Maybe it'll turn into something. He's not going into it thinking, this girl must love me because she's giving me her virginity right yeah. off the bat. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. it's something unexpected. Yeah. He's not mentally prepared. Okay. Yeah. If she said she was a virgin, he probably would not have slept with her. Sex True. can wait. You think so? Yeah. I th- now that you so you're giving out, Tyler like credit for being a good guy, at least, that he wouldn't have. Yeah. No. <laughs> I'm not giving him credit <laughs> yes, for that. No, I... <laughs> I'm saying that he's 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 enough of a player to know to not sleep with I don't virgins. I he's a player, but I, I do see your point, but I still think he's going to respect her as a woman because he still has. I don't think so he's because he's said... lied to her in the past. Why would He's going to respect her so much that he does not respond to her text messages. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we'll see. Only time will tell. We'll see. <laughs> so let's talk about um, Lacey and Danny now. Or how I like to say, Clarissa explains it all in this yeah. episode. So Danny sneaks after this whole shenanigans, shenanigans at Joe's house. Danny sneaks into Joe's window. <laughs> Lacey. Very, or Lacey's. I can't. You are so God, I need, a, I need like a list of names. And Archie was there too, Jason. Archie was there. <laughs> Rico was under Cerritos. the bed. <laughs> Kind of barges so, in the closet. Danny sneaks into Lacey's house. Doug's outside the window. <laughs> and it's actually kind of funny. Because what did you say? Fancy meeting you here. <laughs> and so they come up with this idea that we don't know about. But we find out it's when they're at the diner that they're going to fake this whole fight. Sort of fight slash breakup ordeal. Uh-huh. Did okay. we find out that they faked that? Yeah. Well, yeah. on the text message it he says, says okay. just follow the script. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, Lacey, there's a soccer team. There's a soccer team get together to um, congratulate together. them that they got to, I think, nationals or mm-hmm. something. At the diner. So, Lacey shows up, and of course, everybody's like, What are you doing here? You don't belong here. <laughs> she kind of gets into it, and she's like, I'm not leaving. <laughs> oh, how they Which turn. is stupid. Because, I mean, we didn't know. If you're watching it and not knowing that they have this plan, if nobody wants you at a party, leave. Yeah. Is this where uh, Sarita I- says something about Regina? Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. no. First, um, first, I want to call him Clive Ar- for some reason. Archie. Archie. Archie comes over and he's like, "What are you doing here? You shouldn't be here." And then Sarita has to stick. Does she have a thing for Archie? Does Sarita maybe. have a thing for, or maybe she I just think wants she to be the popular a thing girl? For being evil. Yeah, okay. I think she's. I think evil. she knows something about Regina's murder. <laughs> And, and that's, that's why she's being so over the top about this. Because mm-hmm. it makes Lacey and Danny look more guilty. What that's if so- the PI's her mom? I, the PI looks like Regina. Yeah. Uh, it was eerie when they showed her, and then Regina, she looks so much like her. 
I guess. Yeah. Really? But that would yeah. mean Regina's mom killed Regina. <laughs> so like, oh. I mean, if you're saying that the PI you know what, is that was my daughter. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> What do you know. mean? You you usually love women who are like that, Dave. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> That's a whole lot of other yeah, stuff. Yeah, so we find out that Archie, I'm trying to get all the names correct, Archie and Scott mm -hmm. comes out that Archie and Scott actually poisoned Cole and not Danny. Yeah. And so Cole and Danny have this kind of talk outside. And then props, I always liked Cole. Because Tom Cruise, yeah, Tom Cruise. Finally, because even at the trial thing at the school, like he's always been honest. Well, yeah, halfway you know? honest. Halfway honest. I'll I go think with that he's halfway honest. Spineless. You think he's spineless? I don't know something about him. And that then, wasn't a spineless. I think move. his thing is is he wants to fit in yeah. with the cool kids, but he's also an honest person. So I think he's having trouble kind of balancing the two. Yeah, no, but I think the good outweighs the bad in the end. I he's, think so. He's conflicted in his blissful ignorance. Because I think he has oh. an idea. Mm. He, he has a poetic Stephen. I know he has an idea that somebody else was the one who poisoned him, but at the same time, what is it going to? What's going to go what's for gonna him for if it, he yeah. tries to accuse someone on the soccer team of doing it? If he tries to accuse anyone, so it just only hurts him in the end. But then when he finds out that Archie really did poison him, I love when he goes in and calls him out, and then Lacey's like, "You know what? I just heard Archie say he poisoned him." I, I didn't him expect. Too. I did not I didn't expect either. that. And, Dude, she, and she's an grown, idiot. If we're talking about character what development, would you tell? she her character has grown so much since the beginning of the season two because she wouldn't have done that in the yeah. beginning. You yeah. wanna you wanna talk about it over some onion rings? <laughs> no, he said, is that what Archie said to her? Yeah, yeah. He, he was like, let's let's, I let's split a basket that. of onion rings. I kept yeah. hearing you say that, but and I then he eats his last one. You want some more onion rings? <laughs> <laughs> I actually really Archie's want so some onion rings. I do right now. now. Let's just pretend everything's all right while we eat this onion ring. But um, no, I think it's funny that he would say that in front of everyone. It's like, you remember the last time you made me and angry? Like, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he is dumb. But I, I think he is like this out. high school jock that, think that thinks he's super cool. Like, yeah, look what I did. I got you kicked out of school, bro. But Not why realizing, would you like, admit, everyone's, like, hearing yeah. this? For him to admit that to Lacey, though, right after he finds out that Lacey's been, you know, schnoodling with, you know, <laughs> da Danny. I, like <laughs> I don't understand. Uh, but I think He's after thinking. he sees the way that Lacey just went off at Danny, he doesn't think that she's going to go back to him. Let's give Lacey an applause for that outstanding performance. Yes. Not, that performance was, come on, guys. Like, <laughs> anybody who believed that was could have been, like... I think I would have believed it. Because if you see something like that, you're not like, oh, I bet you scripted this whole thing. Yeah, but she's sitting there. She's like, well, you need to leave, Danny. <laughs> I gotta I got say, it, it seemed like it wasn't scripted the last two sentences, though. Oh, yeah. See, I felt did. the opposite. I felt like those two did feel scripted, but the rest seemed genuine. Because she pushed at it so hard. Yeah, it was like, I, I, I darn the day you ever stepped foot in this town. It yes. was so It was like forced. Like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I I thought she did a good job. <laughs> it was the best acting we've we seen. We did a slow episodes. clap. We did a slow clap did. for her. Actually, we need to give it up for Joe's acting in this. Amazing. I think she's amazing she's all the time. She's so time. good. She but especially so good. tonight, I she's so, she's so good. Yeah, she's a really good. I was just like applauding. We were blown her. away by her tonight. Yeah, yeah. the tears. Like when mm -hmm. she kind of like masked her feelings. I got chills a couple yeah. times. It was good. I love that. So. <laughs> I'm trying to think what else happens with this love triangle. Well, because Lacey and Danny didn't. Did they hook up again? Yeah. No, they no. just meet and you know walk off after. There's that. so much sexual tension the whole time they're on screen together. Can't you feel it no. between the two of them? Like they're still not over each other. Oh, I think Danny. I, you know, I didn't get that from Lacey. I get it from Danny that he still has feelings for, but I really don't get anything from Lacey on that. Account. Oh, I com I think Lacey's completely. Infatuate. All for, yeah, infatuated mm -hmm. with Danny. She's just also infatuated with the idea of being the popular it girl at school. Don't you love she's how like she's abandoned? That. Don't you love how she just gets Archie's trust? You can trust me. He tells yeah. her. So he straight up dumb. tells her that him and Scott are the ones who poison Cole. And then right when Cole comes up and accuses him, like, yeah, they did it. He told me. <laughs> <laughs> That's well, right. I guess we should move on to Karen's balls. Yeah, before yeah. we move on to Karen and her boss, what did you say? I, I heard balls, too. I, I said, know. I have, I'm she texting. She did. Karen accent. had some balls in this episode, actually. <laughs> she did. Oh, okay. But we want to remind everybody to go to SerialBuddies.com, and you can download digital links of Serial Buddies on Amazon and iTunes, and all the money goes back into AfterBuzz, so we can give you these podcasts for free. <laughs> 
So go on there, <laughs> and it's really funny. And if you like Twisted, you like Serial Buddies. So check that out. <laughs> now we'll talk about Karen's boss. Boss. <laughs> boss. It's my like boss. Accent. Boss. 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 Okay. Okay. Not. Anyways, <laughs> so Taryn has this job at the realtor's office, obviously. And we find out because Danny's kicked out of the school that they're either going to have to come up with money for him to go to a private school or figure out something like that. And so she asks for overtime and he gives it to her for um, obvious reasons. I don't get why they even put this in when at the end, you know, he ends up running away. Like they like as ABC, like thinking about it, why would they even put this in? Is there going to be something about the boss? Um, no, I think there will be. I think it's related to the things that the mayor doesn't want them to find. Yeah. Because the, the uh, what is it called? Arm, what was the? Armar, Mar 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 Marna. Marna. With Marna, Mar Marna. Marna was the building contractor and the building constructor, and mm -hmm. now we're having a realtor doing short sales, selling uh, to himself. Mm -hmm. I think okay. we're going to have something like that going on, where Karen is closer than she thinks. And that's probably going to help out Vikram when he comes back. Well, and I think uh, we've seen in the past Karen is desperate to do whatever she can to protect Danny. Yeah. Whether it's hooking up with the principal or, you know what I mean? <laughs> so uh, I kind of liked when she she gets the overtime and she finds out that he's been embezzling money because he's a realtor and he's representing the buyer and the seller mm -hmm. and then only claiming... I don't One know. of the commission some commission. weird IRS fraudulent thing. Yeah, I was like, wouldn't and that? So not I love when she held it over him, though. She's like, um, I've noticed these paperwork errors, <laughs> and they've been going on for the last seven years. So she gets all this money. How much? I'm assuming well, well, enough yeah, to take care of them for a while. So basically, she blackmailed him, and yeah. then she said that like to Danny, like we have enough money that we're we can be taken care of for a while. Yeah. Okay. So what's going on right now with him is there are. Let's say there's a house on the market, right? So mm -hmm. he puts the house on the market for $150,000 and then represents himself for buying it for $150,000, but gives himself the buyer's agency fee of 10%. So that puts $15,000 in his pocket and he's not paying the commission to the seller because there is no seller. Uh -huh. So the house is being sold for $150,000 to himself, but he's, he's taking out of pocket $15,000. Ooh. Not a bad, not a bad and idea. He's probably he's probably doing <laughs> it under notes? the business buying the house. That's why he's not paying for it. It's something else paying for it. Interesting. Hmm. Yeah, but I mean, Karen is actually a smart lady. Yeah. To, that's got to be kind of hard to figure out all that paperwork. Yeah. You think know. that's why she wanted to do the overtime? Cause no, I think she wanted to do the overtime to get more money. She had to know that's not going to get her a lot of money though. She's yeah. assistant for a realtor. It's probably not going to, the overtime's not going to pay for what you she Do you think needs. she went into it looking for some sort of... Probably she knew something was going on. She seems like one of those kind of, like Danny, she's kind of manipulative, you know, in a fact where she'll try to figure out something and get her way. Huh. I think she I don't know. Because uh, she doesn't seem like the one who's like, oh, I'll work overtime to get a few pennies when she could get more. Oh, I think, sure. I think maybe her plan was from the beginning to find something yeah. to blackmail him with. Interesting. If, even, if yeah, it, even if it was having cameras set up and take and recording the him sexually, sexually harassing her mm -hmm. or finding something like she did. I think her plan was just to get things easily from the beginning. And this is Karen. She's the character who is always at the head. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm sure she I'm sure this isn't the first time she's done messed up stuff to get to where she needs to be. Interesting. And the way she's So dressed. after this happens and kind of during this happening, Kyle is at the police station and Who's this PI lady? We don't like her. What's her name? Um, I forgot. I forgot her I name forgot too. I forgot too. So her Tweet and us. Kyle are having disagreements about who or how they're going to go about solving this murder. And she wants to look for the necklace and Well, she's found that she again. wants to look she through the to, Yeah. And so she ends up finding a murder weapon. In the water. In the with water. Finding? Finger, yeah, there's no way. So wouldn't, those be there. wouldn't that yeah. be washed away? Wouldn't that be washed away? No, I'm not, not I'm not PI. Fingerprints are oily, so it depends. You... Steven, like the man of no, but everything. They wouldn't make it that obvious. They wouldn't be but like. But if it was like in the water for so long, wouldn't it? Ha you would think, but. Well, obviously, I, I think she faked this murder weapon, <laughs> yeah. right? Well, cool. Anyways. Totally. Yeah. So 
if she says they have the fingerprints, then they There's probably have his fingerprints. Something but. I don't know if you guys noticed during that whole scene is she said, we need to go arrest Danny because the mayor yeah, has been waiting that. for this for a long time. I noticed that. Oh, yeah. She's definitely working with the mayor. Oh, I think she totally mayor. is. They're all kind of involved, I think. Cal, I think Cal kind of realizes that, too. Like, he's like, okay, I see what's going on. Yeah. So then we think that um, Tess called Karen. I think at least Tess called Karen to and was like, yeah. "Hey, they're gonna arrest Danny." Yeah, yeah. I, I think that's she what definitely. She found well, out. Tess is most definitely more involved than we previously we thought. thought. Yeah, yeah. Which we find out at the end. And now, uh, I hate to say it, but I think people might be right that Joe is actually Danny's brother, half brother. Just because, just because mm. it really makes sense with how close Joe, I mean, how close Tess and Vikram would be now. And why Danny doesn't view Joe at all as Don't a love interest. Don't you feel like Tess would have tried to put more of a stop to Joe falling in love with Danny <laughs> back uh, in the beginning? From Tess's personality, she, the way she went about it was, per, you yeah. know, perfect. I, for I, what I don't she think would she would have. I think she if didn't she, want to like let on anything. That would be so look, weird. Ugh. Look at her position uh. though. If she if he if she tried to make Joe stop going after Danny, she would just go after him more. And yeah. I think she knows that. And I think it was one of those things where it's like, okay, oh. just sit back and watch the watch the roller coaster happen. I don't know. That's crazy to but me. But I think on Tess's end anyway, she knew that Danny didn't have feelings for Joe. So yeah, I that's think true. in her so head she no was harm. like, It's yeah, it's not gonna do anything. I can't see Joe as Vikram's daughter, but for the story purposes, I mean casting wise I can't see it. No casting wise I don't yeah. see it. At but all. for story purposes I think it makes a lot of sense. Well, couldn't Danny be just Tess's son? Couldn't that work? Like No. No. Because Karen was pregnant with Danny. So yeah. she would <laughs> <laughs> Unless Karen's covering something up. Yeah. So that I mean No, I don't I think Karen I think but I guess it, there is a lot of cover ups because Karen didn't really love Danny, remember, as a kid and things I like that. I think she yeah. did. She just said a couple things. And I feel like she's working so over time now to make it like sh I'm mother of the year a lot of weirdness in them. I feel mm -hmm. like Karen could have possibly killed Aunt Tara and sent Danny away for those five years, and that's why she's being so but mommy do you now. Because I think Karen secretly kind of still thinks that Danny killed Regina, and I think that's because of him killing his Tara. aunt. So I don't, I don't feel like if she killed Tara, she'd be this suspicious toward Danny about Regina. That's true. No, I don't get anything off of her. Yeah, because Karen, yeah. Karen obviously doesn't know that Vikram's still alive. No. Yeah. She didn't know about the apartment. Yeah. She didn't know about any of that. Yeah, so we find out the police come to arrest Danny. Danny's gone. <laughs> they're packing. They're packing, yeah. They're up. caught with their bags. Um, but Danny's gone. And then we see Tess calling this number on the bottom of a vase. Mm -hmm. And it's Vikram. Mm. So we were right all along. Vikram's yeah, alive. alive. And why is this? She's it's the crazy. Only, she's the only one who has direct contact with him. Yeah, that's you know, so okay, but weird. What was weird is when well they she hooked called, up before. I know, but yeah. when she called, he was he like, knew. "He no, he was like, who is this?" And then she said something like, "You know, I think it's time." And then he knew it was Tess. But like Tess. from her cell phone calling him, he didn't have the number, so it was probably an emergency. Yeah, yeah in yeah. case of emergency, case of emergency, you call me. Otherwise, don't call. Mm. It's time for you to come back. It's so weird. I don't. Know. I don't so like weird because that is not what I expected to happen yeah. at no. all. I feel like Tess has been so under the radar, and now it's like, boom. What She's was? Gonna explode um, on. I know a lot now. What was what? Nothing. Never mind. I think uh, we talked about Vikram as a writer or something, or was Tara the writer? I don't know. I think Tara. Yeah. Then what was Vikram? Oh, uh, wasn't Tara he was like, like an entrepreneur type thing? Yeah, he was into building businesses yeah. and um, buildings. I'm just huh. trying to see how how Vikram, Tara, Marna, and all that fit together with the mayor and. PI lady. Yeah. It's I think lot. this is obviously a what huge second season hanging episode. Yeah, cuz there's so many like with just like the love relationships and then with the murder and with Regina's murder and with Vikram and with the uh, Tess as Tess is Tess with Vikram. Yeah. Like, what's going on there? So what we didn't bring up really quick is uh the the scrape with Regina. Oh yeah. In that um Phoebe is talking to Lacey and says wait I didn't scrape I didn't scratch her that was the person mm. in the car and we see the license plate is 77R2F a Connecticut plate and then we see 
the woman who's Instead the of veteran, it was like a veteran plate. Yeah. yeah. Then we see the woman who's the PI get out of the same car with the same license yeah. plate at Danny's house. It, so she's the one who killed Regina, we can safely kind of say. I mean... Oh. Possibly, but with all the twists and turns, she could Actually, just be a, an accessory to the murder. I I, figure, I think I just had an epiphany here, guys. <laughs> sorry, okay, sorry. Okay, happened. Kay. Let's hear it. So I think she's just... She's just the woman who takes care of things for the mayor. Hmm. Like, like the mayor's hit woman? Not the not for not hit woman per se, but she's the cleanup crew. Like he if he has a problem, he calls her, she takes care of it. I think that's what she did. I think the mayor killed Regina. And she you, was called you think in. the mayor was sending Regina the money too? Wait, yeah. the, the money came from Connecticut, right? Yeah. But maybe but the, the mayor, mayor the, Oh, the mayor is working with the realtor. That's why he has that property in Connecticut. To send the money from that. No, I don't think that. I think it's all I'm, a big cover up. Well, maybe, what? but I'm saying the mayor is working through her. She's the one who's been sending the money. That's why they had the disagreement when she got cut. From the mayor. Like oh. the mayor is working through her, so it can't be traced back to him. And okay. she's the cleanup crew. He went to see Regina. He beat her to death. With they had this planned out. Yeah. And she was the cleanup crew. She was the one that probably texted huh. Danny. She was probably the one that. Had, well, and obviously she had she's violent weapon. since she. Yeah, she took yeah. the murder weapon. She had it this whole time. That's crazy, oh. and Maybe? that's why yeah. that's why she doesn't really have too much of a background. The mayor just she <gasps> just comes in. Hi, the mayor hired me. The mayor can give her whatever status she, he needs to, her to have at this huh. local town police station. I guess only time will tell. We want to know what you guys have been thinking. So yeah. let's get out our phones to get our twisted theories. I was about to say, maybe oh, she I, killed do, Tara. But oh, we had such a good music cue last time. Damn it. <laughs> okay. Um, I've got one from Queen Kylie. The detective lady is involved with Vikram. She wanted Regina out of the picture, and she is setting Danny up to hurt Karen. There we go. Um, but Karen didn't recognize her. Yeah. Oh, dude. Let's I see. have one from J. Marie Davenport, and she says, Is it just me, or do Joe and Karen look alike? Real mother and daughter. Hmm. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. I don't think that would work. Yeah. Because Tess... Tess and Kyle would be like... Yeah, yeah like... Unless she, like, faked a pregnancy. <laughs> Kids swapped at birth. <laughs> yeah. Switched at birth. That's another ABC Family show. Hey, it is possible... Could be. I guess. Anyone else have any? I hope they don't throw anything I else had one more, but now I can't find it. Um, I also want to shout out Jaliza XD. Um, she doesn't want our season to end. Thanks, Jaliza. <laughs> well, we'll be back in January. Yeah, we will be back in January. Shout out to Wise December for you. And also, I don't know how to say this, but at A U D E X I A. Uh, Dexia? Adexia? Adexia, yeah. Adexia? Dexia? Thanks, Adexia. Oh, also, yeah. Daisy fans, thanks yes. for the tweet. I got a tweet from uh, at Heather Joy Smith. Yeah. <laughs> That's oh, me! Never heard of her. Shout out to whoever that is. Whoop, whoop, whoop. whoop. <laughs> well, thank you guys all for watching. Okay. And all of your theories. Do we have any... Do we want to do our final predictions for the season? Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> I guess we can... Yeah. There's not really any news now. Now. After Did we cover TV. everything? Yeah. Oh. We didn't see the mayor at all this episode. No. no. We heard about him. We didn't see the weird prick hunter guy either. No. Nope. Since that one episode. That was it. Huh. Okay, who wants to predict first? I already told you mine about yeah. Tyler's going to start ignoring her. And, <laughs> and then uh, Rico's going to go after someone else, probably Phoebe or something like that. And then she's going to go after Rico because she's getting ignored by Tyler. Um, with the murder thing, I think that Vikram is involved with the building construction. He had to pl fake his own death because they were going to kill him. Because he knows who killed Tara, and he knows why. And it was probably that same PI lady who killed Tara. To get oh. her out of the way. And then to protect Danny. Oh, to get him out so that nothing could happen to him? They convinced him to say it was him so to take the to blame jail. yeah because otherwise otherwise they would have killed someone else mm. i don't know i think that i think the pi lady has done a lot more than we think she's done yeah mm -hmm. and i think vikram knows a lot more than we think he knows even though Kess, yeah Tess well obviously vikram's hiding something huge if he's faking his own, own death, death from yeah. his wife and his son vikram's gonna come back with something to get danny out of the hot seat so that's what we gotta that's that's yeah. what you should predict what's well, gonna happen she said like it's time 
Well, I was thinking if um, Cole went ahead and told them that he was poisoned by... He'll get back in school, yeah. Well, will that... Will, do you think that could unsurface and that would get him back in school? Oh, yeah. I think at that's least he, back in yeah. school. Well, but that won't save him from Regina. Crowns. That won't... Yeah, that, no. it won't save him from but the it's, handprints. It's going to look good at least that, you know, he's not yeah. that bad. But he also just fled the scene of a yeah. murder. <laughs> what do you think he went? I think he went to jail. No, I think he's in their little secret place. Oh Mm. yeah. What do you think? uh, What do you think about maybe Vikram coming back into town to say he killed Regina to save Danny? Oh Mm. well, I do think. I just want to predict about the relationships because I don't know anything about this murder stuff. But I think if Vikram (laughs) comes back to town, (laughs) I don't want to touch the murder. (laughs) That plot line, no. No, I'm not even paying attention. If Vikram comes back to town, I think there's going to be some Vikram Tess Karen love triangles going on nasty that's that's how mm-hmm. it, that's how the world works I don't think that's gonna happen because Tess world. and Karen are such I feel like Tess and Karen have shown they're such good friends now. um obviously Tess isn't that good of a friend if she's <laughs> hiding like hey by the way best friend your husband's still alive hey, you know the one you thought me. was dead sorry <laughs> whoopsie yeah, forgot to mention that. that yeah also I hope and I think that Rico and Joe are gonna have a little bit of a falling out for Rico's sake. Oh, I was like, why? Yeah. For I hope Rico. Rico finds a nice boy to settle down with. <laughs> Perhaps a host of Afterbus TV. <laughs> Perhaps a host right here with blonde hair. Hey. <laughs> um, I, okay, I'm predicting that Tyler and Joe are going to be a lovely couple. They're going to be the new Daisy. It's going to be Joe, Joe, and Eiler. Joe Eiler. Yeah, Tyler. No, it's or not going to be. Ty- I can't even if you think. give it up that fast, the relationship Stop. will not last. Stop. I feel that like rhymes. That was a wrap. <laughs> that was so deep, Jason. Thank you. Right over here. No, I feel like they're going to um, be strong, and he's going to help uncover a lot of this with her. Well, you're wrong. <laughs> I think Joe might go on a downward spiral after Tyler. You know, because because oh. the only way to get over someone is to just dive head first into someone. Maybe else. she'll just dive right into Rico. Yes, you would hope, but you know it's what? not going to happen. No. She doesn't deserve Rico. No, she doesn't. Don't you kind of see right. yeah. all the parents? Like, look at Karen, look at Tess, and Kyle and Vikram and just kind of imagine them as the role of like Vikram's Danny uh, Tess is uh, probably l- one of the lacier Joe and then <laughs> yeah it kind of is like that mm-hmm. though. and then Kyle is Rico who just kind of ends up with Tess oh, oh my god I mean, it's like, it just, totally <laughs> makes sense it's, it's I think like Rico parents. is more like Lacey's dad <laughs> Second to realize what you were saying. Oh, like, why are you doing? Why are you doing? We, need, do it? Do we it? need your prediction. If you're not clever, that means he thinks he's. I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so my prediction is that Vikram is going to come back, and I think he had something to do with Regina's death, and somehow, I think worked with the mayor along the line somehow in the past because I think he can maybe persuade the mayor. I don't know, to, to, to drop these, or he has something on the mayor oh, to get, yeah, one. I think he has something that will get Danny off free, because he has something <laughs> over the mayor. Yeah, I, whatever he knew that mm-hmm. made him fake his own death so they yes. wouldn't kill him, he they're going to know that he's alive again, they're going to have to but back I off. I think it's exactly. going to be just for Regina, I don't think they're going to reveal about the end yet, because everything agree. can't be solved. No, I, yeah. I agree, I, I think, think it's just going to be Regina. I don't think Vikram had anything to do with her death, Regina's. I think it's going to come out like maybe the mayor. But no, but we, he knows something to cover it up at yeah. least. Yeah. yeah. But we want to thank everybody for tuning in and watching us every week and sending us your tweets and all of your YouTube comments. And we will be back in here in January. <laughs> but in the meantime, um, you can follow us all on social media. Where can they find you guys? I am on Instagram and on Twitter at Heather Joy Smith. I'm on Twitter and Instagram at Just Lena Green and Facebook at Lucas Flower. Oh. I'm on Twitter at Stephen Lemieux, S T E P H N L L E M I U X, on uh, Instagram at S R Lemieux. Um, and you can see me doing the final three episodes of the Dexter After Show, as well as the final two of Graceland After Show. I want to say happy birthday to Heather on Oh, our yeah, panel today. Heather Joyce Smith. Happy, happy birthday. birthday. Thank you. Congratulations. Nobody told me happy birthday. You don't deserve it. In July. Anyways, you can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Jason Eichler. And I'm also on the Kardashian and The Voice after shows. And we will see you guys back in here in January. Woo! Woo!
From Bing.com, executive producers Maria Menounos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other After shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz you later. The views expressed herein are those of the host only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.